two minutes to my good friend from Oklahoma, uh, Ms. Stephanie Bice. Gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank my colleague for yielding. I rise in strong opposition to the combined rule and the underlying fuel prices legislation in this package as it seeks to cast blame on hardworking Americans in the energy industry and offers no real solutions. The underlying bill, H.R. 7688, would establish de facto price controls on fuels, a dangerous step that has potential, the potential to create fuel shortages. Many Americans remember the long lines of cars waiting at gas stations in the mid-70s, and they do not want to return to that scenario. But don't take my word for it. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce warned Congress last night that this bill has the potential to cause, quote, rationing, gas lines, and a much greater reliance on imported energy. I'd like to remind my colleagues that the price of gasoline is determined on a global market based on supply and demand. The way to lower prices is to increase supply, and we can do that by unleashing American production. Sadly, the administration has been doing the exact opposite, delaying permit approvals, denying access to public lands, and gaslighting the energy industry. What's worse, just today, the administration announced that they are removing sanctions on Venezuela in order to import foreign oil from a hostile socialist country. In my st home state of Oklahoma, nearly a quarter of all jobs are connected to the energy industry. Frankly, this legislation is insulting to hardworking Oklahomans throughout the 5th Congressional District whose efforts power this great nation. Instead of legislation that blames American energy producers, we should roll back the onerous energy policies of the Biden administration and unleash American energy. I urge my colleagues to reject the rule and to reject the underlying